Hi everyone, welcome to Nursing Guru. As you all are nursing students, you may be dealing with a lot of clinical procedures. One of the important procedure that is dealing with is the oxygen administration. So today I will be dealing with this topic that is oxygen administration. Let's begin. Coming to the definition, oxygen administration is a process by which supplemented oxygen is administered in high concentration than that of the atmospheric air. That is the oxygen administration. So the main definition that is oxygen administration, we are providing supplemental oxygen in high concentration to those patients who are having decreased oxygen concentration in their blood. In that patients, we are providing some supplemental oxygen that is too in high concentration compared to atmospheric air. Next, we will move on to the purpose. What all are the exact purpose of this procedure? First one is to relieve dyspnea. Second, to prevent hypoxemia. Then, to increase the oxygenation in tissues to administer high concentration of the oxygen. These all are the purposes that is coming under oxygen administration. That is to relieve dyspnea. Dyspnea means difficulty in breathing. Then to prevent hypoxemia. Hypoxemia in the sense decreased oxygen saturation or oxygen concentration in the blood. Then to increase the oxygenation in the tissues tissue level oxygenation to be increased and to administer high concentration of oxygen to the patient in case of severe respiratory disorders like chronic obstructive pulmonary disorders pneumonia etc next we will move on to the indications what all are the indications or for what all things usually oxygen administration is given the indications that include respiratory distress that is if the patient is having any sort of problem with oxygenation then shock if the patient is having shock then pre intra and post operative patient we will be providing oxygen supplemental oxygen in case of post operative patients then case of hypoxia and hypoxemia as I told earlier then in case of severe traumatic patients severe or acute myocardial infection so these all are the indications of oxygen administration next we will move on to the articles what all are the articles that is required for providing oxygen or supplemental oxygen to the patients the first one First and foremost thing that we require is the oxygen source. We require an oxygen source from where or from which the oxygen has to be given to the patient. That will be in the form of a humidifier. An oxygen source will be present. Then we should have a mask. Oxygen mask should be there. That is to provide oxygen in correct amount to the patient. Then humidifier with the distilled water to provide the oxygen effectively. Then that humidifier with the distilled water should have a flow meter in order to regulate the flow rate of oxygen. Then oxygen tubing should be there that should be connected to the mask and the oxygen meter or oximeter. Then we should con carry or take out an ghost plus and a cotton swab in order to wipe the mask area. Then no smoking signs that is important thing that we should provide or we should learn or we should teach them no smoking signs because smoking during oxygen administration that will leads to some sort of burning that is the contraindication of smoking so smoking should not be allowed no or no smoking signs should be provided to the patients in case of oxygen administration then we should also use water soluble lubricants so these all are the articles that is essential for providing oxygen administration so once more i will say the what all are the articles required that is an oxygen source a mask humidifier with distilled water flow meter oxygen tubing ghost fees or cotton swabs no smoking signs water soluble lubricant these all are the articles that is required for administration of oxygen next we will move on to the methods of oxygen administration 
the methods include or the some of the most common ways that is including is either by mask we can provide or we should provide oxygen by oxygen mask or face mask simple face mask second one that is by nasal cannula second one is by nasal cannula we can provide this oxygen or oxygen could be administered then what all are the sources or from where all we can get this oxygen that is the oxygen sources that include wall outlets will be available in hospitals and either we can take it from the oxygen cylinders either from the wall outlets that is a centralized o2 and from the oxygen cylinders oxygen will be available these all are the sources of oxygen administration next we'll be moving on to the procedure actually first of all we should identify the patient and we should explain in detail regarding the procedure then determine the need for oxygen therapy for that we should check the physician order and we should check why the patient is require that oxygen therapy what is the need for that therapy and we should check the physician order for the rate the device which device to be used and how much concentration of this oxygen should be given to the patient then we should perform an assessment of the vital signs we should thoroughly assess the respiratory rate the pulse rate and the temperature that is a vital sign should be assessed then we should go for the level of consciousness and also we should check the lab values and we should record it correctly then after that we should assess the risk factors for oxygen administration in patient and environment that is like hypoxia drive in patient and fully Uh, some of the hypoxia related conditions will be there that should be assessed then we have to explain the procedure to the patient first and uh, foremost thing that is we have to explain the procedure to the patient and relatives and emphasize how he has to cooperate we should tell them how he or she should be cooperated while providing the oxygen then we should post no as i told earlier we should post no smoking signals on the patient and or in the patient door in view of the patient and visitors and explain to them the dangers of smoking when oxygen is on flow so while oxygen is on flow we should never smoke that should be explained to the patient then hand washing we should do thorough hand washing and then we should set up the oxygen equipment and the humidifier then fill the humidifier with distilled water to an then using the oxygen tube fit the mask on it attach the flow meter to the source and the flow meter should be in off position while attaching we should take care that the flow meter should be in off position while attaching to the cylinder or to the wall outlet then attach the humidifier bottle to base of the flow meter after that we should attach the humidifier bottle to the base of the flow meter then we should attach the tubing and face mask to the humidifier then after that guide the mask to patient's face and apply it from the downward from the downward it should be applied to the patient's face fill the piece mark to confirm to the shape of the nose we should check it is in the correct orientation or correct shape of the nose we are keeping this mask then secure the elastic band around the patient's head we should secure it tightly then after that we can apply padding on the ear as well as on the scalp area where this elastic band of this mask is getting uh, touched there we should keep a padding to protect this area then ensure that safety prevention are followed this should be followed that is safety and other preventive methods should be followed then after that inspect the patient we should stand by the patient and inspect the patient for any discomfort and we should also inspect the equipment frequently that is whether there is any problem with this equipment and also we should check the flow rate whether there is any uh, problem associated with the flow rate that is we will be setting a flow rate at first if that declines or if that is increasing that should be checked frequently then also we should check the clinical condition of the patient and the level of humid water that is present in the humidifier should be checked after that the procedure is completed we should wait for 10 minutes to assess the patient and continue the procedure then we should wash the hands and remove the mask and dry the skin every 2 to 3 hours take care that we should dry the skin every 2 to 3 hours if oxygen is administered continuously 
do not put powder around the mask if oxygen is administered continuously we should not put powder around the mask that should be taken care of after that we should document relevant data regarding that patient regarding the patient all the relevant data should be documented and recorded nursing management what all are the nursing management or the management measures to be taken care of while providing oxygen first one that is determine the need for oxygen we should ensure or we should determine what is the need or why that patient is requiring this oxygen supply uh, that is we should check whether the patient is in need of this therapy by verifying the written record of the physician and as well as we should check the hospital policy secondly perform the respiratory assessments on each patient to determine the level of oxygen therapy and titration protocol and we should document it appropriately the third one that is encourage the use of incentive spirometry each hour we should encourage the patient using of incentive spirometry each hour to avoid hospital acquired pneumonia in order to avoid hospital acquired pneumonia encourage the use of incentive spirometry just before we were dealing with oxygen administration its purposes and the articles required and also we discussed in detail about the methods of oxygen administration or the procedure of oxygen administration and also at last we deal deal with that is the nursing management of oxygen administration hope you all understood this topic and if you have any doubts you please just leave a comment on the comment section thank you for watching bye